Hi class, let's talk about derangements. Remember, there are n factorial ways to make a list of length n from a set of size n without repetition. A derangement is a kind of list. Definition. A list of length n using elements from the set of integers from 1 to n without repetition is called a derangement if the number j is not in the jth position in the list for all j from 1 to n. Here's an example. Say we start with the set 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 1, 2, 3 is a derangement. 1 is not in the first position, 2 is not in the second position, etc. Well, 3, 2, 4, 1 is not a derangement because 2 is in position 2. Whenever we have a new kind of object in this class, the next thing that we want to do is to try and count them. So let's count derangements. This is going to be another application of the principle of inclusion-exclusion. And so, as usual, we're going to define some sets to help us figure out the thing that we're trying to find in terms of a union of those sets. So, we're going to define a set L sub j to be the lists of length n using elements from the set of integers from 1 to n without repetition that have j in the jth position. Given that definition, the number of derangements is going to be the total number of lists, n factorial, minus L1 union L2 all the way up to ln. Here is going to be the collection of non-derangements. Here's the total number of lists without repetition. And we are going to evaluate using the principle of inclusion-exclusion. Let's do a specific example. Example, how many derangements of the set 1, 2, 3, 4 are there? Here, of course, n is equal to 4. So the number of derangements, as we said before, it's going to be 4 factorial minus the cardinality of L1 union up to L4. Let's explore this right-hand side. 4 factorial minus the cardinality of L1 union up to L4. That is going to be, by the principle of inclusion-exclusion, 4 factorial minus cardinality of L1, cardinality of L2, cardinality of L3, L4. Then within that parentheses, so the minus sign is in front, we're going to have minus the cardinalities of the pairwise intersections, plus the cardinality of the triplicates, and finally minus the cardinality of the intersection of all four. So let's talk about what this might be. Okay. How many lists of length 4 have 1 in the first position? So these are going to look like lists that look like 1, comma, something. Okay. Um, well, there are three positions one can use and three other choices if you're not going to have repetition. So this is going to be 3 factorial. Same thing for uh, the lists where 2 is in the second position. 3 is in the third position, and 4 is in the fourth position. All right. How many lists have 1 in the first position and 2 in the second position? Well, there are two choices and two positions, so this is going to be 2 factorial. Same for these other sets. And how many are there? Well, 4 choose 2. How many sets have one in the first position, two in the second position, and three in the third position? Well, the only option is to have four in the fourth position. So there's one of these. So this is going to be 
uh, one factorial. Same thing over here, one factorial, one factorial, and one factorial. How many of these are there? Four choose three. And last but not least, how many will have one in the first position, two in the second position, three in the third position, and four in the fourth position? There's only one choice. I'm gonna follow the pattern and write that one as zero factorial. How many of these kinds of sets are there? There's gonna be four, choose four. All right, now I've done this on purpose to make uh, our final answer have a beautiful form. So this is going to be four factorial, which is the same as four choose zero times four factorial, because four choose zero is one, minus four choose one, times four minus one factorial, plus four choose two, times uh, two factorial, which is four minus two factorial, minus four choose three, times four minus three, which is one factorial, plus four choose four, times zero factorial, which is four minus four factorial. This is going to be 24 minus four by six, plus six by two, minus four by one, plus one by one. Altogether, we have nine. And here they are. Here's the general form. In general, the number of derangements of the integers from one up to n is going to be n choose zero, times n factorial minus n choose one times n minus one factorial, all the way down to plus or minus n choose n, n minus n factorial, where it will be plus or minus depending on if n is even or odd. Putting this in some notation, this is going to be the sum of, as k goes from zero to n of n choose k times n minus k factorial, and we're going to alternate the plus or minus sign depending on how far along we are. Now I'm going to actually write out the formula for n choose k because some things are going to cancel. n minus k factorial and n minus k factorial cancel, and then I'm going to rearrange this, pulling the n factorial out front and placing the negative one to the k on top of the fraction. So it's going to be n factorial times the sum as k goes from zero to n of negative one to the k over k factorial. There we have it. We have a general formula to count derangements. Um, have fun with it.